Good morning, Don Lane, Fraser Valley News, your morning news update for this Remembrance Day, Friday, November the 11th. Obviously, there's going to be uh, uh, various ceremonies at cenotaphs throughout the Fraser Valley. Abbotsford and Chilliwack, no different. District of Kent, no different. Uh, will be one in Cultus Lake and Agassiz, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it's hitting home for me this week. Uh, I, short story, I have a cousin in Ottawa. And she is a government worker. Her job is information gathering. She's also the family historian. She has discovered, and we found a banner that is in Leamington, Ontario, of a relative we didn't know about. He was 20 years old. He was a medic, and he died at the early stage of World War II. And so for us, Remembrance Day now has extra meaning. So we'll leave that at there. Uh, we'll see you at, uh, hopefully, at Garrison. Uh, it does look like we're going to be okay weather-wise. It will be chilly. There is a chance of flurries. But again, right now, uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be uh, too bad. So uh, bundle up for this Remembrance Day. Also, uh, one of the other big stories yesterday was Sumas, Sumas Dyke Repair. And some more money being put into that program. Uh, there were some initial concerns of leaks <clears throat> after the, the original work was done. It has been a year, almost a year now, uh, since that uh, infamous atmospheric river, uh, Pineapple Express, if you will, but the flooding that came afterwards. And uh, a number of dignitaries were there, including the First Nation chief from Sumas Nation. If there's something we should know about, let us know, fen at shaw.ca. Feel free to jump on our Facebook and Twitter to uh, add your photos and of uh, Remembrance Day. Uh, this is a solemn day. It's not one for celebrating any major war efforts and that. It's to honor those that we have lost. And like I said, it's now become a little personal now uh, with the information that I've found. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. Have yourself a great day and a peaceful Remembrance Day. Dawn Lane Fraser Valley News.